Alright. Alright, what up everybody? I can't really look at the camera right now. It's your boy, the role model Chris Caden. Tonight, our roll call, we got Diamondback, I believe, is it Wild Child? Alright, well this is our uh, roll call. Uh, we just came back from, uh, what, what was it? BPW? BPW. This is that first, uh, let me say a few words on this event, okay? This is supposed to be a pro fed. These are supposed to be guys that are trained in school. These are supposed to be guys that go through the ropes. And yet, why is it that backyard events that I see on YouTube, okay, have quicker matches, the fast-paced matches, they, they, they have more skill, IBW, IBW, 2KW, okay. I would even put my freaking bets on LIWA putting on a better match than VPW. The XJW throwdown first show, yeah, everyone that fucking hates it, you go fuck yourself, because it's better than fucking VPW. It's, it's amazing. And you know, we got a couple of wrestlers from IBW that are joined over there. And you know what? I think that's exactly what VPW is going to need. Because VPW is going to need guys that were in the backyards and we're, we're, we're wrestling with some of the best backyarders there are. Going into the pro circuit and showing the pro circuit how it's really done. Oh yeah, and um, the zombie was there. Yeah. Oh, zombie. The guy looks like a dirty has-been. Are you kidding me? He looks like my next-door neighbor from upstate. Who was this other guy? Who was, who was Static? Static. Static. The, the guy, the champion. Okay. Oh, was that his name? Yeah, it was, it was his name. I thought it was Matt Cross. Okay, Come listen. On. No, no, okay. Static. It was like Matthew Static. Or something. Listen, okay, Static. If you ever see this video, I will put out an open challenge to you any goddamn day of the goddamn week. We're going nuts with the challenges. Okay, we are def today we are definitely going nuts with the challenges. Okay, this this is episode four. Okay, and it's featuring it's none other than the IBW World Heavyweight Champion. Okay, so you know this episode has got to be all other episodes that there is. So first, here's what we're gonna. No offense to you, man. No offense to you. But when you join us two together, okay, you got two out of three of Diamond Inc. right here. You know, you know that the status is just, I mean, it's too much for people to handle. It's too much for people to handle. Okay, now, for, my first thing I want to say, if, if you don't mind if I get a little personal time. All right, my first thing I want to say is, kids, I saw your response to my video, and I saw the fact that you said no, okay? But I'm going to say this to you, okay? I know who you are. I know everything about you. I don't care that you don't have family, I don't care that you don't have friends, I don't care that you're a lonely, pathetic drunk who sits in his house eating broken boxes of Chinese food and tries to make it look like he dirtied his house on purpose, meanwhile your house already looks that way. Okay, here's the way it's gonna go. You're gonna get in that ring with me, okay, because you have nothing left. Okay, so I challenge to say that your name is on the line. Don't show up. Fine. And everyone will know that Kiz is nothing but a worthless pussy who admits, admits that Diamondback is the better man. Yeah, fine. You beat me in four seconds when I was weak after having a match. Fine. How many times have I beaten you over and over again? Chair shots to the head. Bro. Twelve chair shots to the head. I, I twisted both your ankles. There is no way that you are walking out of there in one piece. Oh, listen to the music. The music is perfect. It is amazing. Okay. Now wait. Now here. Now here. Here's my next thing. Chris Caden. And I, I hear through the grapevine. This is through the grapevine. That, that you're you're actually gonna fight Mike Havoc. Okay. All right. Well, let me let me start it off by saying. Mike Havoc, you opened your mouth, my friend. And when you open your mouth and you start talking about IBW, that shows me disrespect. That shows everyone in the IBW disrespect. Now, I'm not a big one for just throwing challenges. Nah, fuck that. Yes, I am. I throw challenges out whenever the fuck I feel like. So, yeah, I threw a little challenge at Mike Havoc. I've yet to hear back from him. He is a little bitch. Uh, he says he's an amateur. He has some amateur wrestling skills. He won a title. My dude, get up to my level. When you win a world heavyweight title, when you win an intercontinental title, when you win a hardcore title, and then you make your own goddamn title, you got, you know, by Janet. Listen, still, I had four, I think that's four, yeah, four titles, right? Just get on my level. Accept my challenge so I can whip your candy ass. 
Fuck Rock. And then the next one, the next Charles Monroe. Charles, Charles, Monroe. Charles, 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 the first time you showed your face in IBW, oh, you man. had the audacity to disrespect me, the owner of IBW. And what happened when before you left that ring, you tasted the spear of Diamondback. Okay, and you couldn't get up after that. What'd you do? You went and you, you you turned tail, acted like a little chicken shit. You couldn't fight David Potter, okay, and instead decided to call the cops and get our ring burnt down, get our ring destroyed, and thought that you could break the spirits of IBW. It doesn't happen. It doesn't happen. Okay, IBW stands strong week after week after week after week. Still here. Okay, we are still here and we will never die. This is what you fail to understand. Didn't, so, didn't, didn't Monroe get his ass kicked a few days ago? Oh yeah, definitely. I love the way you got your ass kicked, Monroe. And believe me, that is nothing. Because believe me, we still have a match to go. We still have a match to go. And I plan on putting you through the hell that I have put every single competitor that has gone against me in the past. I have been in IBW a year and a half. And in the past year and a half, 62 match, 63 matches, okay, 63 matches, and I'm still standing strong. Six months, and I'm still the longest reigning IBW World Heavyweight Champion. This is not about XJW's crappy titles, okay? I give my respect to David Potter, which is probably the only one in that bed that I'll ever give any respect to. But as far as you, Charles Monroe, I will definitely fight you anytime, any fucking place. Now who are we gonna talk about next? I don't know. Oh yeah, XJW. I've been uh, I've been on your website. Um, I noticed that you got my roll call. You know that's a good that's a good thing because um, that will get you viewers. I'm not even gonna rip on you right now. I'm sorry. <laughs> Throwdown. See, I didn't actually get a chance to see Throwdown TV. I had to hear it from word of mouth because for some reason it just couldn't load. And it's not my computer. It's because you guys suck. I'm going to work on your computer skills. Okay. Now, next comes, what, what's this other small time Fed coming into uh, LIWA? Okay. I've seen Oh, oh, my excuse me, AWA. Legal issues. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, okay, excuse me, sorry, legal issues, legal issues. L-I-W-A, okay. Now, Fuck Long Island! Okay, now listen, L-I-W-A, I have seen, I have seen you wrestle. You know I've been yeah. to your show, we did a super show a long time ago, and do you remember what happened at that super show? You couldn't hang, because when Diamondback stepped into the ring, went on top of the ladder, and set my arm on fire to go jump down on the little white boy and show him what pain was truly about, you tried to stop the match. It was just a little too hardcore for you. Okay, then we've got, what's this, uh, uh, D-I-W. Oh my God. Oh my God. Do I even have to say anything? Okay, do I, D-I-W. D-I-W-I. No, oh, D-W-I. D -W -I. Driving while idiots. Um, <laughs> driving while okay. idiots. Driving while intoxicated. Okay, you all okay. Don't. I don't care what the hell your name is. Okay, first off, you got a guy named Punisher. Punisher, your your ring skills are, are anything, nothing more than amateur. Reckless work, you. Okay, <laughs> Reck, reckless is the only one in that bed that I can give any respect to. General G1, you gave him a title because he came from IBW because he couldn't hang there. So you got to do, you handed him the title. What do you think? Because he went into a four-way match and won a title, decided that oh my God, he's the Another one, kids. There you go. Another one that beat you. Wow. G1. Wow. G1, G1 you beat my boy, you. But... I, sorry, man. I mean, it goes down like this. Okay, IBW has been the most dominant force in sports entertainment around. Okay, a year and a half going strong. Over 400 videos online. No Fed has competed with us, except 2KW. I will give respect where respect is due. But don't for a second, for a second, think that I'm ever saying that you're better than us. You're because not. you're definitely not better than us. You get respect because you are a great fed. But when you got people like, give me, give me throw a couple of names out because I really don't pay attention to this has been. No, 2KW. 2KW, um, shit, uh, wait, wait. Uh, I don't want to call the 